You know, eight months following the Diamond Hawks heartbreaking loss in the Super Regionals, it is finally opening day once again. And maybe the Hawks seek her weapon to get back to Omaha. I say it's the fans specifically two here in Little Rock that are as well known at Baumwalker Stadium as hot dogs and Cracker Jacks. Does she need a hog hat on? <laughs> Retired teachers Ann Morris and Marie Ryan have traded classrooms for chairbacks. As long as I'm close enough to see, I don't yeah. care where I am. Yeah. And they're not afraid of a big crowd, especially in the left field hog pen. It's way out there, but it's always popping. Now, being a fan is not always easy. They've seen heartbreak. It all comes down to one play, and that's what happened, and it was sad. And they've braved the elements. And we have sat through rain, oh, blistering cold wind, and I don't care if those hogs are out on that field. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Their love for the Razorbacks has nothing to do with home runs or walk-off wins. It's about the relationship with the fans. They're just great men. And I asked one one time, how are you all that way? Dave Benthorn. Thank you, guys. Thank you. They all are that way. They're so pleasant. And they come up and they sign baseballs and hats and for all these little kids after the ball games for as long as, as they're there. Even head coach Dave Van Horn always makes time to chat with the Little Rock ladies. Would tell us to go stay out of trouble or, you know, go out and have fun because you worked hard today. The gear is packed. Even the pup is ready to roll as the road to Omaha begins now. We follow other teams, but if it comes between one team and another, we will always choose the Razorbacks. Okay, so get this. Ann and Marie will try to not only attend the baseball game today, but they're also heading to the track meet across the street. And there's also a softball doubleheader, so four. A total of four events going on Friday. They're hitting them all. They've got a busy schedule. They do. They are like professional cheerleaders at this point. Oh, Ann already texted me and said, we're about to hit the road. We're getting out of here. Oh, my god. I gosh. said, let's go. Here sound, we go. Sounds like they're having so much fun. I was saying, oh, to be, you know, one of the people that gets to go with them on all these little trips and just the funny things they're talking they about. They have so much fun. Oh, my gosh. And those I players love, love them. It's the relationship between them and the players. They look at them like, you know, it, it's it's a little cliche, but, I mean, it's like family to oh, them. Oh, yeah. Well, no, seriously. It really yeah. is. It's like not even cliche. In this point. Mm. Oh, I love that story. Thanks for sharing that, Hayden. You bet.